Hello and welcome. In this video, we will talk about a very interesting functionality called gate entry. This gate entry feature is only available in India localization. What is gate entry? It's very interesting. Say suppose we have order, organization have order a purchase or some material from a supplier or as a sales process we have built something or we have manufactured or we are going to dispatch something from our factory however in these two cases when we are receiving the purchase order or the supplier is sending the material by a car by a uh, you know truck those will be passed by our gate maybe a exit gate at the time of dispatch or entry gate at the time of inward the purchase order so for those cases you know a factory or the organization wants to maintain a gate register entry like when the material or when the truck truck was uh, enter what was the arrival time what was the truck number what is the driver name what is the driver number chalan number all the things needs to be or can be maintained in d65 finance and operations let's see how it can be done in d65 the setup for gate entry is quite simple it's not that complex however as i mentioned earlier this only applicable or available in india localization the first thing as a setup what we need to do we need to go to inventory management and under the inventory breakdown we have option called inventory side gate here we need to create gates say suppose under or for uh, one site you know site one i have many gates so i can create those gates here so i have created one gate like in gate it means whenever a material or, or goods are coming in our factory or in our site i need to pass those by these gates so maybe i will show you how to create gates so when i click new there i will option, have an option called in and out in for receiving out for dispatching okay and then i will select the site say suppose site 1 and gate 2 gate 2 okay similarly i can create gates for out gate this for dispatch okay that is only one setup Another setup what we need to do, we need to go to sites, inventory breakdown and sites. And under site, we will see two options called gate entry. Under gate entry, one will be gate entry and one, another will be gate outward. So it is a number sequence. Whenever the gate entry is system is you know leveraging the functionality, we are leveraging the functionality in system, system will generate a number sequence from here. So gate entry, whenever receiving. It can be stock inward, it can be, you know, it can be sales return, it can be uh, receiving, I mean, purchase order receiving, whatever we are receiving at the time of, uh, you know, in, in the factory, we are, as a, you know, receiving product, that time, this inward gate will come, the number sequence will come, and similarly for gate outward for dispatching, like purchase return, purchase return means, return means we are, sending back to our supply that time this outward gate number sequence will come to the picture okay so that is what the two setup we need to do in the system that's it now i will show you in the purchase order part i will not show you to sales order dispatch it is a similar functionality once you, you know understand the purchase order gate entry you will be able to understand the sales as well it is very simple and one more important thing this gate entry has nothing to do with financial or physical transaction so this gate entry is just a register entry there is no financial process involved in this gate entry and this gate entry is not mandatory so this two setup we have done previously now what i will do i will create a purchase order see i will select this purchase order i will select the site site 1 and then I will click OK and now maybe I will select 
stock item okay and say order is four quantity unit price may be 800 that's done now i will confirm it if you have workflow then you have to get it done you get it approved i will confirm this purchase order now is done so now the part is purchase order receiving so as i mentioned whatever i am receiving maybe a supplier is sending those goods by a truck or any vehicle that at that time only we need to do the gate entry so before purchase order receiving i need to complete the gate entry process so what is the purchase order 116 and this vendor that i need to remember so what i will do i will go to inventory management and then under periodic task there is a fee form called gate management here two options are there all inward gate entries it is for receiving goods all outward gate entries it is for sending the goods dispatching or purchase return or something i will go to the inward gate entries like you can see in the system i have already created three gate entries so i will create a new gate entry here I will select factory gate. This gate we have created at the time of setup. So like I created two gates for this site, I will select gate one and I can select warehouse. Okay. And then in the reference document type, it is very important. I will, I will select which type of do reference document I need to have the gate entry. So I have created purchase order. I will select purchase order. If it was for sales return order, sales transfer in, subcontract return, RGP return, those are all standard functionality. I will select purchase order and this reference party will be available here. Reference party means a vendor number. It will determine for which party and for which purchase order I need to create the gate entry. I have selected this party and maybe I will select the vehicle number. This number I have selected. So now I will click from purchase order lines okay chalan number i need to add say chalan number is ch2234 okay now i will select the purchase order line okay before that i need to complete some mandatory fields say chalan date is maybe today okay now let's see from purchase order lines so all those purchase order available for this vendor will be uh, popped up here i will select this purchase order Okay, and now you see all the lines of the purchase order has been added here. I can select Chalan quantity 4 because I have ordered 4. If it, it is possible that you know uh, the party can send less or max, uh, more than this, I will select 4 only. I have ordered 4 and I am receiving the Chalan for 4. Then my gate registrar can update transporter, num transporter name maybe D, 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 maybe FedEx deliver name who is delivering the delivery person so Mr. Paul driver's phone number I can add okay Chalan date L R R R A W B I can add L R A W B date origin I can select all the cities from where it is coming so I can select say suppose Brasilia description I can write any description received from Brasilia I can choose a worker it is the employee master uh, lookup will come I will select worker who is responsible for this uh, gate entry and here once done I will select confirm vehicle entry after that this confirm measurement will come so I need to complete the measurement say say what was the measurement for this gate entry say suppose measurement number one measurement instrument by which instrument I have measured it say suppose test measured quantity for unit EA okay but it has nothing to do with my product receipt it is just a gate entry what we are receiving at the gate 
and then once done i will click confirm measurement and then another option will be available confirm tiered check i will go to this tiered check option i will say suppose tier weight 45 kilos or maybe something like that and then once done i will click confirm tier check it's done now my gate entry is completed i have filled up all the details i will click on confirm vehicle exit it is done one more important part you may ask that is this measurement and tier check is mandatory i will say no you can skip this measure uh, click on this skip measurement it will not ask you it is just confirm vehicle entry at that time and confirm vehicle exit that's it so i have completed this gate entry my gate entry number is the ending with 4 what i will do maybe i will duplicate this form and then i will go to this purchase order okay maybe i can go from here no for the purchase order no okay let's go to the purchase order i think this is the purchase order for which i have done the gate entry now no purchase order or receipt team uh, whoever is responsible they they can do the purchase order sorry product receipt so at the time of product receipt what the user need to do before completing the product receipt they will select the gate entry line so here since i have completed the gate entry and against this line i will select the gate entry from here so i will select you see this is the gate entry number which you have completed i will click okay now grn will be done okay so it is it is done so the ever reference if you go to the product receipt you will be able to see under this product receipt there is a gate entry details and under this gate entry detail, all the field which you have uh, which you have filled all are available here see gate entry number status is vehicle exit transporter who is the transporter delivery name deliver name driver name you know vehicle number chalan date driver's phone number arrival time you know exit time everything is mentioned over here okay similarly this is the inward similarly for dispatch also the same thing at the time of picking list and you know doing the invoicing doing the delivery this gate entry process will be done from the inventory management and then all outward gate entries the similar process the same process will be followed in the outward gate entries so that's it for the gate entry process i hope i have been able to make you understand very easily uh, this is very uh, you know unexplored area and it is not complex it is very easy once you have understood this concept you will be able to do that so thanks thanks for watching let's stay stay, stay tuned for another video like this thank you bye for now